Assessment task three, using comic books as a multimodal medium. A comic book is a publication that combines text and illustration to tell a story. According to Grove, 2001, the Swiss teacher and cartoonist Rodolphe Topfer created the first known sequential images aligned with text to tell a story in the 1830s. These were known as picture stories. The creation of sequential images first evolved into comic strips in newspaper publications in the early 1900s, before becoming the action comics we know today. According to Alison Tom from Cartoonpedia 2023, the first known comic strip to be published in the New York Journal was created in 1896 by Richard F. Altcult. The comic was titled The Yellow Kid and is widely recognised in pop culture as the first real comic that paved the way for comic book creators such as Stan Lee, the creator of Marvel, as well as Jerry Siegel and Joe Shuster, the creators of the famous comic character Superman, who first appeared in Action Comics No. 1 in 1938. The layout and features of the comic book consist of a series of boxes called panels. Each panel is positioned in a sequence that allows the continuation of the narrative, helping the viewer to navigate the story seamlessly. Narration boxes or caption boxes are text boxes explaining the context of scenes on each page. Not to be confused with the speech bubbles that are spoken by the characters, narration boxes are usually square and positioned away from the panels giving details such as the time, place and what is occurring in the scene. The spaces between each panel are called gutters, as, des as described by MacLeod S. in Understanding Comics from 1993. The gutters between each panel allow the reader to pace the story and use their imagination to fill in the gaps between these transitions. The sizing of the gutter represents time passing. If the gutter is wider, more time has passed between each panel. You can see the caption in this image in the blue squares that give detail about the time, location and events that are about to occur in the scene. The jagged speech bubbles that you can see in this image are used to describe the sound of each action. The punch in this image makes a POW sound. When describing this particular comic strip to students, we can introduce the term onomatopoeia, where words such as drip, buzz or mumble describe the sound that the word makes. Combining text and images to convey meaning in comic books allows students to be engaged with the content where they may have been overwhelmed with full-length text, such as novels or textbooks. Comics are a versatile tool for teaching literacy skills at any stage of learning. Due to the nature of the illustrative style that intentionally adds more to the story, children with minimal reading ability can still comprehend meaning by using the images as a guide. Comics, visual aspect and sequential storytelling encourage children with limited reading abilities to engage with the teacher and comprehend the events occurring in each panel. When analysing text in comic books, students can use the images to infer meaning. Semiotics play a large role in comic books, using symbols to create more depth in an image. Students will learn how the aesthetic features of comic books such as colour, tone, shading and perspective of characters and text placement can affect the overall mood on each page. Another multimodal pedagogical approach to using comic books in teaching is through drama and theatre. As suggested by Haightley E. 2011, using drama and theatre is an effective way to teach a variety of mediums including comics as this allows students to gain a deeper understanding of character development, understanding the dialogue and unpacking, unpacking the aesthetic elements of a multimodal text. By teaching drama using the medium of comic books, 
Students can learn set development and create costumes, which helps them understand more about character development and narrative. Performing co comic narratives in a drama setting enables students to engage with the content and use their creative expression to develop their literacy and communication skills. Some examples of comic style literature for children with limited literacy skills include Baby Monkey Private Eye by Selznick B and Serlin D 2018 and the book series Owly by Andy Runton 2007. These examples use minimal text narrative through visual storytelling. This is a good introduction for children with reading difficulties such as dyslexia or dyslexia in the early stages of their reading journey. The use of humour and clear sequential pictures allows the learner to be engaged and construct meaning through in these images. Here we see an example of one of the Owly series. This example shows a wordless comic strip using visual storytelling. The comic has no dialogue which allows children in any stage of their reading to visualise the story simply by following each panel. Students can use their imagination to create a narrative of what each panel represents without having to read any text. When using comics as a multimodal text to teach literacy, there are various links to consider when aligning to the English content descriptors of the Australian curriculum. According to ACARA 2024, in the foundation year, students learn to understand that texts can take many forms such as signs, books and digital texts. Using comics as a teaching tool in the foundation year allows students to understand that texts come in a range of formats. When designing lessons where students create texts, the Year 2 content descriptor under Literature on Creating Texts describes how students will create imaginative texts using the same text structure and topic-specific vocabulary that is used in comic books. When reflecting on the framework of the Australian curriculum in English, comic books are an effective way to gain a deeper understanding of literary and visual elements across all year levels. And as the curriculum acknowledges, students should learn to analyse a variety of text types to build communication and literary skills.